so we have to prove ef is parallel to bc so whenever we see that there is something parallel to be proven then we can get a hint that you know we can use basic proportionality theorem and its converse so let's see if we can use this here now first we will use uh, the angle bisector theorem because uh, it's given that de and df are angle bisector so that will help us in finding out the ratios of the divided sides isn't it so let's approach like that so uh, let's begin the proof so let's prove it now you can say in triangle in triangle uh, adb adb we can write ae by eb is equal to ad by bd and why is that this is because angle bisector theorem correct angle bisector theorem where de is the bi bisector isn't it de is the bisector no doubts about it d is the bisector of triangle oh sorry angle adb okay similarly similarly so i'm writing similarly similarly in triangle in triangle what adc adc okay adc what can we say in triangle adc we can say um af by fc af by fc is equal to ad upon dc same theorem same theorem isn't it right so let it be one and let it be two okay now since since ad is the median so when a median is there what does it mean it means bd is equal to dc okay bd is equal to dc therefore from 1 and let's say this is 3 so from 1 and 3 what do we get we can uh, replace this bd here by dc is it so hence we'll get ae by eb is equal to ad by ad by and instead of bd here instead of bd i can write dc this is let's say 4 now if you notice 2 and 4 so from 2 and 4 the rhs of both are same so hence we can say af by fc is equal to ae by eb right af by fc is equal to ae by eb now let's go to the figure so af by af by fc what is af and fc let's see so this is af by fc so af by fc is equal to ae ae by eb so what does it indicate it it hints towards converse of bpt isn't it so hence we can say by by converse of basic proportionality theorem what do we get ef is parallel to bc right this is what we had to prove and we got it okay so what is the learning learning in this so always try to see from you know the the target or the objective and come backwards to the problem right so you can always keep the objective in mind objective that is in this case you have to prove parallel so from there you got the hint objective will get the hint correct and you know travel back travel back means come from the objective so treat the objective to be true and try to establish that the given facts which is there um, you know or basically from objective come back to the given fact if you are getting a route like that then you can reverse the route and find the objective right so this this could be a learning this could be a trick to solve proving problems